Hey guys, it's me. Um, I'm cycle day 39 and I'm 14 DPO. I took a test, a first response on 13 DPO. And I didn't see anything, so I guess I'm not pregnant. The cycle. <sighs> Anyways, um, I've had a really hard two weeks. Had a lot of stuff going on. And then, now, knowing for sure I'm not pregnant, just doesn't help nothing. You know, I'm not pregnant again. And I actually ovulated this time, so I don't really know why I'm not. We nailed it when I, when I ovulated. Um, I confirmed my ovulation with my ovulation scope. And I actually had three days with crystals or ferning, whatever you want to call it, on my ovulation scope this cycle. And um, last cycle with my fourth round of Clomid, which was the first time that it worked, I only had one day of crystals. So this is what I did to ovulate this time without Clomid or Femera or any other fertility drug. So I'm going to share you share with you um, what I took. So cycle day three, I decided I was going to take this. So I started taking one Vitex a day, two Maker Roots a day, and one Evening Primrose a day. And I did that to about cycle day 10. Cycle day 10 hit and I started taking two Vitex a day, two Evening Primrose a day, and still two Maker Roots. Well then cycle day 16 hit. So I started taking three Maker Roots, um, three Vitex, and I quit taking Evening Primrose oil. Just cause I, in case I ovulate, cause this will make your cervix too soft and it won't keep an egg or whatever. So it can make you miscarry if you get pregnant, in other words. So I took that. I kept taking these. Um, nothing ever happened till cycle day 21. I, I uh, took ovulation test every day and I took my little scope. Um, I didn't get any positives. Oh, I forgot to mention I was taking a baby aspirin today. It's supposed to help with the blood flow down there. Anyways, um, I did my little scope every day. Cycle day 21 hit. But first, let me show you what it looks like when you're not fertile, in case you've never seen an ovulation scope. Whoa. <sighs> Sorry, guys. I don't know why it's so bright. I think it's that light right there. And now, now it's way too bright. Never mind, it wasn't that. Okay. I'm sorry, guys. Thought I'd have it better. Okay, you can see it a little better. See how they look like bubbles? That's when you're not fertile. So, that was like cycle day... 19 maybe so then cycle day 21 hit which was Mar March 5th and I started getting crystals which it's not I've tried to do this video f like yesterday and everything showed up better then but my camera cut off so I had to redo it anyways that was cycle day 21 There's another one of that day. I don't know really what that is, but see the these lines and stuff? That's called ferning. Then cycle day 22, the next day. Whoa. See all that right, like right there? All of that with the lines and then the lines coming off of it. Anyways, that's what all that is. It looks like a mess on my phone, but. 
Whoa. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know why the lighting isn't working right. It did it the other night when I did it. Then, um, this was my third day of ovulation. Or, like, the crystals, which means I was fertile. See? See all those lines? All of that. So. So, anyways. Um. The Maker Root and Vitex and stuff did work. So, if you need. Well. If you need to. If you want to try something and you're tired of playing with your hormones by doing other, like. Um, fertility drugs and stuff I would highly recommend it um, I am one that hardly ever ovulates like that's been my problem these two plus years of trying to conceive I don't ovulate on my own and so and I don't have a lot of periods either um, my uterus is tilted so Anyways, that's not really a big deal, or so they say, but anyways, um, so, yeah, that's what I did this cycle to ovulate. I also wanted to share that I want to make more videos. I know I've kind of been a loner. I've been depressed and stressed and had all kinds of stuff going on, so I haven't really made a lot of videos. Well, I want to, not only about my cycle, but I want to do more videos for y'all and get to know y'all better so if you have any questions then please ask me below or email me and I will do a video um, and answer y'all's questions alright and when we get to 150 subscribers we will do a drawing so alrighty I will see y'all later y'all have a blessed night I do want to share with y'all maybe tomorrow I'll do a video and share with y'all what my side job is. Not only am I, I teach pre-K at a child development center here in Texas, but I also have my own little business on the side. So I would like to share that with y'all. Um, I'll try to get that done in the next few days. Probably won't happen tomorrow. Tomorrow's really busy with church and everything else. So anyways, I will talk to y'all later. Y'all have a blessed night. Bye.